Good morning, M60 uh, Ian here. We're going to make a little video today. I'm going to show you how to use a new piece of software made by a company called RS Systems. Software is primarily for, or we're using it primarily anyway, for programming the D Star radios. And what I want to do is I just want to show you how this, um, this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, take the camera away from my horrible face and I'm going to show you how it works on the computer and uh, hopefully you'll be able to follow along and, um, and, uh, and enjoy the, uh, the system and what we're showing you today. So coming over to the trusty uh, laptop, I'm going to hear radio programs and as you can see in here, I'll just... Um, Take it up to the extra large icon so you can see. What we have is we have these are already put in the uh, the RT systems um, programs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the 2820 programmer, which is this one here. And as you can see, it opens up quite quickly. Obviously, depending on uh, on what um, what. Uh, computer you're using. So fairly simple across the top, some nice simple uh, commands and what we're going to do first of all is we're going to open up a new one and we're going to tell it what it's for. And in this case we're going to say it's for a 2820 data file and the software opens up for that. Okay, now I'm hoping you can uh, see the layout on this. Very similar to Microsoft Excel. What I want to do now is I just want to show you um, some very simple things. I'm just going to take these out for a moment because I don't uh, don't need them in there. Okay. What I want to show you first of all is I want to show you the D Star side. Um, when you come up here and you click on Right on the very top of the menu there, you'll see the word D-Star. We click on D-Star, we've got uh, Show D-Star Columns, uh, D-Star ID, uh, D-Star Settings, and we're going to go to D-Star Calculator. Okay, this opens up a new window here. Now, the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to show you the, uh, the top menu here. As you can see, if you just click on the little arrow, you get a few things open up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to local repeater first, and we're going to select United Kingdom, City, we'll select our local one at, um, at Barnsley. And now you can see what it's done is it's automatically put in the call sign for me, and the two frequencies, and on this side, it's uh, given us the secure, then it's Barnsley, the call sign, and again the uh, repeaters. Just down here, it shows you all of the frequency and the RPT1 sources. So, if we just want a local one, let's say on the, uh, the 2 meter, so that would be B. And if we just go back to that, let's say, you just have a look at the, uh, just sort of here. You'll see we're on two meter at the minute. We're going to go to 70 sems. And if you just watch, it's automatically changed all of the settings. And uh, we're going to just have that on local B. I'm going to click this button here. This button is just allows it to auto do. And all we're going to do is click apply. Now, if you have a look on this top line. Uh, if the camera's not too blurry, you'll see that it's automatically put in all that information. What I'm going to do is just come back again. We'll just go to here, local repeater. We'll change that. We want one with a gateway. And uh, we'll select C, gateway, hit apply, and it's already in. Now, where this becomes really good is if I want to link somewhere else. So 
we come down here, let's say we want to link it to a, another repeater. We're going to keep it on the same settings. United Kingdom, England, Barnsley, the call signs there, the frequencies. We'll change it to uh, port B, because we like to use port B more than port C. Um, it needs operation. You'll notice on this side you've got secure at the top, and then you've got uh, country, city and call sign. Okay, what we'll do is, if we go to country, we can select whichever country we like. Let's go to Canada, Newfoundland. Then it gives us a choice of cities. There's only one there, St. John's. The call sign there is uh, VO1ILP, Victor, Os uh, Victor uh, Oscar 1, India Lima Papa. It's a two metre repeater. And you'll see that all of the settings required are down here. So you've got frequency, uh, the source, where it's going. So you can see there GB7YDB, YDG, and your call is automatically done. If we just have a look up the top here, uh, as soon as I hit the apply button, all that information is in. And if you look on this far column over here, you can see your call, the RPT1 and the RPT2, exactly how we want them. We can also set the banks and, and things like that. Um, if we just show you another uh, country, just so you can see, we'll go down to, um, let's have a look. We go to America because the states have obviously got absolutely loads of uh, repeaters. We'll go to Alabama. We'll select the city. There's loads there, as you can see. We'll select the ones. We'll go to um, Montgomery. We'll link it to the uh, 23 centimetre one. So it's the 2 metre linking to the 23 centimetre. All of the settings are there. All we have to do is hit apply. And that's that done. Another little feature. So obviously we've got that one there. We can... Ref Click to reflectors, select uh, your country. Let's say we're going to be uh, Barnsley again. So it's GB7YD, two metre. And we want to connect to reflector 16C, British Columbia in Canada. And we hit apply, and all that information's in. So hopefully, you can see how easy this uh, software is for setting up the um, the, uh, the D-Star radio. On this section here where it says name, you can change them, you can either do it on this screen or you can do it on the screen before. I'll just uh, quickly show you how you do that. We'll put another one in, D-Star calculator, 2 meter, we'll link to uh, reflector 2C. And just down here it says channel name, we'll give it a name. and We'll just say it's 2C. We hit apply, Okay, we'll come out of there now. And uh, if you have a look right at the very top, you can see it's just linked in to C, just as we put it. Obviously, you can do all of your settings here, all your preferences and uh, memory details. Um, you go to V-Star, V-Star settings. Again, put your call sign in, yeah, M6DER. Um, you can use the D-Star calculator, it'll calculate, there it is there, the text uh, message for, for my call sign. And uh, you can put in your repeater calls and things like that. Okay, you can put in six different ones of those. So uh, if you share a radio, you've got a club frequency, that's ideal. Um, some of the other things, you can adjust the speed of the data. I normally leave it just on normal, I think that's fine. You can get the data from the radio. It doesn't matter if it's got an ICF file in there, an ICOM file, you can still retrieve that data. Now another nice function is, is that you can have more than one window open. So if we go up to here, we go open again. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to retrieve my uh, IC92 file. I'm going to bring it into this. Now what that should do, is it's just opened up an IC92, as you can see on the top there, so I'm now working uh, 
a uh, 2820 and a 92. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Import. This opens up uh, a, a normal screen that you'd be used to. Go to my desktop, radio programmings. I'm going to go to all files because I know that the file on here is an icon file. And there it is there. So that's a, a My92 ICF file and it's a .ICF file so it's not written for this software. I'm going to import it, I'm going to click next, next, and next. Columns weren't identified. Oh dear, I've done something wrong there, HI. That's typical, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's try it again. Uh, import, desktop, radio programs. And uh, we're going to go to all of them. Uh, we'll find this file again. <laughs> HI. There we go. And uh, hopefully it'll um, it'll do it this time. No. Okay. You can um, you can do so. You can import. Uh, oh, there we go. Then we'll try it open. Ninety-two. There it is. There. Now if we open, sorry, because I went wrong there. I didn't, shouldn't import, I should open. Then you can see we've got a few different files there open. Now, one of the nice things is, is with this program is that this file's written now for the 92. It's an ICF file. And all your band memories are down the bottom here. If I go to band A, uh, sorry, um, band B memories, what I can now do is I can now select... many of these okay so i've highlighted them all in blue what i'm going to do now is i'm going to right click copy go to the 2820 file select where i want it so i'm going to start on column eight and paste they're now there for use on the 2820 it knows that the software's for the 2820 it'll know this when it writes to it and uh, it's that simple, it really is. The only downside is that, um, the only downside I find is that it, the program doesn't have uh, analog repeaters logged into it. And I find that a little bit um, strange. They've gone to a lot of trouble to put all the D-Star repeater stuff in there, the gateways, the nodes. The software regularly updates and um, so obviously as new repeaters come on these will be added and uh, that's good okay what I want to do is I just want to show you the um, the leads that are used um, for this when you get the kit it comes like so and this is the the leads this one's for programming the 92 this orange one is for 2820 as you can see, it's got a, a good strong uh, USB connection. Nice made leads. Data pin on the other end, ready for um, for use. That literally just goes into there, and then uh, if you go into your radio, it plugs into where the data pin there is. There's an ICF one in there. So what we do is we literally we plug that in. It's as simple as that. This software is um, is made really easy, and uh, and it's made for, for idiots like me, really. Right, they just show you, you know, there's discs for each um, each and every radio. Uh, 92, 2820, 880, 2200, the V80, um, the IC80. And, uh, and the 90, uh, 91 and the 92. So as you can see, it's quite a comprehensive um, piece of software. RT Systems, link's on the website. Uh, go to www.southyorkshirerepeatergroup.co.uk um, which is uh, 
which uh, hopefully is where you'll view in this video and uh, you can read my report and uh, the, the links on the site there. Thanks for watching, this is M6DER, 7 threes to everybody and uh, thank you for taking the time to watch our review.